Hello everyone, Chris here. Uh, thanks for joining. It's going to be a short one today. It's early in the morning. Well, it's fairly early. I'm just starting my day and I was uh, going to start a cup of coffee, but it occurred to me that I have an opportunity to test out some of my food store preparation. So today I'm going to test out this uh, it's full or Kroger's value instant coffee. So normally I think I mentioned before, I'm not a connoisseur of coffee. Um, I would drink Folgers regularly, which maybe is one step up above this. But this is instant coffee, so you essentially take a spoonful of it, add it to some hot water, stir it up, let these beautifully ground crystals dissolve, and then you drink, at least when it's cooled off a bit. You could add sugar creamer if you like. I'm not going to. I'm going to, well, maybe I'll, I'll have a taste of it with just the black coffee, and then maybe I'll sweeten it up with some stevia or something else. But, um, but to start, we're just going to start with regular black coffee. So this is... Uh, this has been on the shelf for a while. We'll look at the date, I'll talk a little bit about the container. Uh, but that's, uh, that's the video for this morning. Let's check it out. Unlike some of our other taste challenges, I'm not too terribly concerned about the safety of this for some reason. I'll talk a little bit about why, but this is the, this is the, the jar that we're going to open. Part of me, my OCD part, just wants to get rid of this. So what happened, we had our earthquake uh, maybe a year and a half ago, November, November of, I think it was 2019. Yeah. Anyway, this fell off the shelf, cracked the lid. Um, it's fine. It's sealed beneath the, beneath the lid. So if I open this thing up, let's see if I can do this. Yeah. It's got the airtight seal on it still, which is really what's going to keep it fresh. Well, as fresh as freeze dried coffee can be, or, or I don't even sure how they make this, <clears throat> but, uh, we do have a use by date somewhere on here. Let's take a look. Oh, here we go on the bottom. All right, so it says, well, sell by, see if we can see that, sell by April 19th of 14. So it's, you know, that's six years old. Uh, was supposed to be sold by six years ago. Um, I don't know when I bought this, to be honest. Maybe 2012, 2011 time frame. Hard to say. Anyway, it looks it looks like the day I bought it. I've got a fair amount of this. And I've always been curious. Like I said, I'm not a huge coffee fan. So I almost, I might even do a side-by-side -side Folgers taste test to see if this is just as good. Uh, I do get pretty good deals on Folgers, so I'm not complaining. And I use a, a little reusable Keurig uh, filters, but I get off track here. So let's... uh. Let's heat up some hot water. Let's add a tablespoon. I think the instructions are to directions. Place one rounded teaspoon of instant coffee in a cup, add boiling water and stir. So it doesn't get any, any easier than that. So let's see if I can follow these instructions. Here are all the ingredients we need to, uh, to run this taste exercise. So I've got, uh, and my, my, my lovely production assistant, asked that I uh, use this cup. Um, yeah, so using this cup, uh, we have the coffee. I've got one teaspoon. I'm going to open this up. Yep, oh, it paper's pretty, yeah, it just opens right up. Not much to that. Let's uh, peel back all the paper, give it a smell. No, oh, it doesn't really smell so much. <clears throat> yeah, it's just crystals freeze-dried coffee crystals or somehow I don't know how they form those crystals I will clean this thing up a little bit uh, I am curious I don't know how they would even I don't know how the crystals could degrade they haven't shrunk so it's the container is as full as it always was and uh, kind of yeah looks a little bit like dirt or mud that I might kick off my shoe but I'm gonna take a, a teaspoonful of it see that uh, looks that uh, looks about the right amount <clears throat> we'll just pour it in see there okay it's dissolving a little bit yep stir it up all right so we'll stir this up it is it, it's it's pretty close to boiling hot so i'm going to let this sit for a minute um and, and i can already see there's a layer i don't know what that layer is on top uh forming up so i probably want to look at to research what goes into this thing. The, the ingredients say 100% coffee. Now here it is. This is what it looks like. Actually, it looks like it could come right out of a coffee shop. Look at that nice layer of 
foamy stuff, which I'm not sure what the foamy stuff is. It looks good. Okay, this is it. <clears throat> I have this cup of instant coffee in front of me. Does not smell good. Um, but again, I'm not a huge, I'm not a fan of coffee. I, I, I learned to acquire taste. Let's, uh, I'm gonna put it down, pick it up with the other hand. Okay. Hmm, I don't know how to describe that. Uh, let's see. Okay, this is instant coffee mix. It's not a horrible taste. It does not taste like coffee that I'm used to drinking. And I've had good coffee too, so it doesn't taste like good coffee. Uh, it's hot, that's why I'm slur slurping it versus just taking big gulps. Okay, here's what I will say. This might do for your coffee needs if this is all that you have. Now, one of the, and I've talked about this before, uh, if you, you know, part of the reason that I would have something like this is not just that for my own consumption, but also there's a trade value to it, right? That in really desperate times, we're talking about end of the world type times, you know, a jar of coffee ready to go to give to somebody else could be traded for something. And I would definitely put this high on my list of things that I would trade quickly because I could probably live without coffee. And this is not particularly good, but having said that, there are times when a cup of coffee is just what you're looking for. I was watching a documentary about some guys at sea who, and they were, they like to smoke uh, tobacco cigarettes and um, they ran out of tobacco cigarettes. And so they were rolling, they were rolling cigarettes out of tea leaves, right? They were emptying tea bags and putting it into uh, cigarettes and rolling it and smoking it. And they're quite satisfied with that. And so I think this, this falls into that category of food type or, uh, or habit, I won't call it an addiction, but if you have a craving for hot coffee and this is the only thing that you're gonna have available to you, this will probably work. Um, and, and I don't think there's, I don't think there's any spoilage here. Um, I don't know, how, I don't know how the chemicals that, that could spoil, they maintain their crystal form just fine, they dissolve just fine. There is no, yeah, there's no sour or nasty taste. It just doesn't taste like coffee that you're used to. But I think that it's, um, if you added a little bit of sugar, so if you had the luxury of sugar or sweetener, a little bit of cream, this would probably do just fine. I, I might not be able to tell the difference. In fact, I'll do another, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do guaranteed a side-by-side a -side Folgers taste test with this. We'll do it black and then we'll add the sweetener to it. And I'm not sure that I could do the blind test, taste the difference. <clears throat> also worth noting, my taste buds aren't incredibly sensitive anyway. And that's a known thing for me. But uh, but hey, this is it. It's about six years old. Probably been on my shelf eight years old. Uh, I'll keep it another eight. I'll keep it until I have to move out of the house for whatever reason it will go with me. But uh, yeah, I don't think it's going to go bad. Uh, so thanks for watching. Uh, good morning to you. Hope you've had a cup of coffee if you drink coffee. Uh, take care. We'll see you next time.